The story of Mary Hicks, accused of witchcraft and executed in the early 18th century, remains a haunting reminder of the dark and superstitious period in history when fear and ignorance led to tragic consequences. Although her case is not as widely known as those of the Salem witches, it stands as a poignant example of the hysteria that swept through communities during the witch hunts. The early 1700s were a time of widespread belief in witchcraft and the supernatural. In England, the fear of witches was deeply rooted in the collective consciousness, fueled by religious fervor and the prevalence of unexplained phenomena. The infamous Witchcraft Act of 1604 had criminalized the practice of witchcraft, and those accused of it faced severe punishment, often death. By the time of Mary Hicks's trial, the witch hunts were on the decline, but the fear of witches still lingered in the minds of many. The judicial system, although more rational than in earlier centuries, was still susceptible to the influence of superstition and fear. Mary Hicks, along with her nine-year-old daughter Elizabeth, was accused of witchcraft in 1716 in Huntingdon, England. The charges against them were horrifyingly specific. They were accused of causing storms that had damaged crops and livestock, a common accusation against those believed to be witches. The primary evidence against them was the testimony of witnesses who claimed to have seen them engaging in witchcraft practices. Mary and Elizabeth Hicks were subjected to a trial that by today's standards was a gross miscarriage of justice. The evidence presented was largely based on hearsay, superstition, and the irrational fears of the time. Nevertheless, the court found them guilty, and they were sentenced to death by hanging. On July 28, 1716, Mary Hicks and her daughter Elizabeth were executed in Huntingdon. Elizabeth, only nine years old, met the same tragic fate as her mother. The execution was a public spectacle as was common in those days, drawing a large crowd of onlookers. The mother and daughter were hanged together, their deaths marking a grim end to a tragic story. The execution of Mary Hicks and her daughter is believed to have been one of the last of its kind in England, as the tide was turning against the witch hunts. The Witchcraft Act of 1735 would eventually decriminalize witchcraft recognizing that those accused were often the victims of persecution and superstition rather than actual practitioners of dark arts. The story of Mary Hicks serves as a reminder of the dangers of mass hysteria and the importance of due process in the legal system. It highlights how fear and ignorance can lead to the persecution of innocent people, often with fatal consequences. Today, the execution of Mary Hicks is remembered as a tragic chapter in the history of witch hunts. It stands as a cautionary tale, urging us to reflect on how far society has come in terms of justice and rationality, while also reminding us that the seeds of fear and superstition can still take root if we are not vigilant.